In this video, I'm gonna talk about following up with prospects and the insane amount of follow-ups you sometimes have to do to close the deal. And this feels really counterintuitive. As a socially adapted person, one generally assumes that following up with someone when they're ignoring you means that you're bothering them, means that you're doing something wrong, means that you should stop. And in business, that's often not the case. And I have a great example of this. And this is regarding a client where I initially had a great conversation with 10 months ago in November of last year. And on that conversation, he said, yes, Sean, I'm ready to sign on. I want to become a client. Let's do this. And now 10 months later, after several follow-ups, finally he calls me and signs on. And I honestly thought this one was a lost cause. And I almost was laughing to myself as I kept following up via email when he just didn't get back to me. But sure enough, he finally comes around, signs on. Today I got his credit card and collected first payment and signed him on as a client. And not only that, he actually now seems like he's gonna be a great client because he were starting off with one of his dental practices in Ontario and he also owns and has um, controlling interests in many other dental practices. So if this goes well, it's going to lead to even more business. So what I want to do is jump onto my computer, show you guys this email thread, just as some evidence of why you should keep following up until your prospect gives you a definite no or a definite yes. If they're giving you a maybe, if they're not getting back to you, and if your goal is to maximize new sales and your revenue, then you should still keep following up with them and being relentless. So I want to show you my screen right now. Now in front of me here, we see the first email between myself and this doctor. So as you can see here, it says great speaking with you on Monday, excited to move forward with your digital marketing campaign. Please find attached the, you know, we have a payment link here formalized agreement going over what we spoke about. So this came in on November 4th. Um, if I bring up my calendar here, November 4th, 2020. So we're looking at a Wednesday. So Monday, the second was the day where we had our first phone call and went over everything and he was excited to sign on. I sent him an email on the fourth with the agreement document prepared with the payment link ready, expecting that within this week of November 2nd, 2020, he was going to sign on and become a client. But as you can see here, that wasn't the case. So this is email number one. I send it over. So email number two is November 9th, 2020. Haven't heard anything back. This is follow up number one and still haven't heard anything back. Follow up number two, November 16th, 2020. And okay, we get some word back from the doctor here. Um, now he says, I'd like to wait until next year due to the uncertainty in the lockdown. Okay. So this is November 20th, 2020. So next year is about a month away. So we have another follow-up right here. Let's see what number is this. We're at number. So this was follow-up number one, follow-up number two, follow-up number three now on November 21st. So he emails me back. Then we have follow-up number four, January 7th. He emails me back again um, and says he still wants to wait a little while. Then we have follow-up number five, February 1st, 2021. Follow-up number six, February 8th. And it also left him a voicemail. So we'll call that follow-up seven was the voicemail. Then February 9th, he gets back to me. And then we do February 10th. This is my eighth follow-up. We try to set up an appointment. We have another call. Everything sounds good. I follow up again. So follow up number nine with another payment link. Sure enough, crickets after this doesn't get back to me. So this is now we're now at February 12th, 2021. I wait by the looks of it here about five days till February 19th. Follow up number 10. March 31st, no answer. Follow up number 11. May 3rd, still no answer. Follow up number 12. And that's when I actually left it after follow up number 12. Now, this is 35 minutes ago. I missed a call from him and I sent him this and got back on the phone. So we'll call this follow up number 13. 
and we just signed on. So this took 13 follow-up guys over 10 months to sign on this client and you know, it's going to be worth it. This could be our agency has an extremely low churn rate and there's a good chance this is going to be a client for two, three, four, five years. It's going to lead to referrals. You know, this, this one lead could end up being worth a hundred thousand dollars to our agency. So it was absolutely worth following up all of those times. And yeah, I wanted to put together this video to show you guys that it pays to follow up. It's that simple. And in a competitive business environment, the, the entrepreneur, the salesman, the business owner, who's most relentless while still being polite, you know, we're not being rude. We're not getting angry, but we're being relentless in our polite follow-ups. That person is often the one that wins the most business at the end of the day. So that's everything for this video, guys. Um, let me know in the comments below where you're at with building your business. I'm in the process of scaling my agency, North Digital, up to seven figures. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, we mostly focus on helping out dental offices um, scale their revenue, and that's our bread and butter niche. However, we do have some clients in other industries as well. So if you want to follow along that journey and learn how I'm scaling up to seven figures, then subscribe to this channel. And again, let me know in the comments below what you want to see in future videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.